Hi everyone, this is Sam Gabriel, and in today's video, we're gonna go over a new feature that came out with HashiCorp Nomad, with HashiCorp Nomad uh, 1.0 release that was announced uh, back in October, October 27th of 2020 at uh, HashiConf Digital. And uh, what that feature is, it's called Dynamic Application Sizing, or DAS for short. So let's go ahead and take a look at this new feature. All right, so here's the announcement uh, blog post for Nomad 1.0. And uh, you can see when it came out, October 27th. And uh, the uh, most important thing that I want to focus on today is DAS, which stands for Dynamic Application Sizing. And with that, really, it's the ability, in short, to let a developer understand uh, what his or her application is consuming in terms of resources, in terms of CPU and memory, so that they can properly size that application. So it depends on historical look back through an APM tool such as uh, Prometheus to start. There will be other plugins into uh, Datadog and other APM solutions as well. But basically Prometheus will take a look, benchmark your application and figure out how much consumption historically has been, and then we'll give you recommendations to be able to uh, properly size the application. Uh, now this feature is an enterprise feature with HashiCorp Nomad, uh, but it's very neat in the way it, it works. If you're not familiar with Nomad, I have a video that, uh, that walks through HashiCorp Nomad uh, and what it's all about. Um, and how it differentiates from Kubernetes. So I encourage you to go and take a look at that video. All right, so you can take a look at this and other features also that were released in, uh, in 1.0. Uh, the, uh, the auto scaling features of Nomad, we have three of them here. So you can see horizontal application auto scaling which is what you're used to if you're using Kubernetes, for example, to create replicas of pods. And uh, same idea here, we call these, instead of pods, these are called allocations. So you can schedule those and those can happen on different uh, client nodes. The second uh, way of auto scaling is cluster auto scaling. And this one is to, um, uh, you know, auto scale at the cluster level or at the client node level. And then finally, the dynamic application sizing, uh, scaling, uh, this is the enterprise feature we just talked about, DAS, and we'll get into this in more detail. Uh, here is a, another uh, site, and this is the documentation site, talking about how to use it, the different uh, parameters that you can use. Uh, so I'll also reference this in the description of the video so you can take a look. Uh, finally here, this is the actual demo that we're going to go through. Uh, this is the GitHub repo. As you can see here, it's HashiCorp Nomad Autoscaler. Under demo, uh, Vagrant, we're going to run this local on our machine. And uh, dynamic app sizing. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go walk through this and, uh, and show you how this all works. Okay, so uh, I already have Vagrant running. Uh, on the right hand side here, my PowerShell screen, I have Vagrant already running. It takes about 10, 10 to 15 minutes to get it going. So I, I got that uh, going before uh, recording. And uh, we're just gonna go through these uh, commands here. It's pretty straightforward to do it by yourself. Uh, all you need to do is obviously install Vagrant on your machine and just walk through these uh, steps. So let's uh, SSH into Vagrant. Okay, so we're logged into Vagrant. We're on the Vagrant machine here, as you can see. Uh, let's go ahead and look at the uh, folder we need to be in, Nomad Autoscaler. Okay, so first thing we need to run Prometheus. Now I have the UI here, the Nomad UI up and running. As you can see, there are no jobs running at the moment. So first things first, let's go ahead and run the Nomad uh, job. So in the in the jobs folder, uh, nomad. Let's just clear this. Nomad run Prometheus nomad. 
and um, that should kickstart the the job here the nomad job there we go so it's running it's going to take a little bit of time to run so we're waiting for it to come up and be healthy uh, in the meantime let's we can run some cli commands for those who love cli uh, sorry, Nomad. We want to check the status of Prometheus. Okay, uh, starting. It's not running yet, so we just got to be a little bit patient. So, what we see in the UI, you'll see here in the CLI as well. And we can also check on the allocation uh, as well. But basically, what we're going to do is we're going to run Prometheus to measure the, uh, to have something to measure. So that's our APM tool. And then we're going to run this example uh, job. Uh, so Prometheus is going to monitor this example job. Uh, we're going to look at the CPU and memory usage. Then we're going to start a Nomad autoscaler, DAS autoscaler. Uh, we can check the logs. Uh, but basically, we are once we do that, we're going to look at the optimization recommendation that uh, Nomad is going to offer. And after we do that, we're going to generate some application load and, uh, and see the difference and see that it's going to uh, give us different recommendation because now we increase the load on the application. All right, let's go ahead and see if this is healthy now. It's running. It's healthy. Perfect. The UI should reflect that as well. And it does. So that's great. Uh, let's see what we have here next. So let's go ahead and run the nomad example it's clear okay once again let's go back to the, our jobs and see what we have here's our example job and let's take a closer look at this one four placed four desired allocations it looks like we have two task groups cash and cash uh, LB and inside here we got um, some allocations for this task group uh, we can see the reserved CPU is 500 megahertz the reserved memory is 256 uh, megabytes reserved disk so we'll see that these numbers uh, we'll see them in the recommendation that uh, I think they're a bit high for what we for what we need uh, and that's really, it talks to the, the, the issue that we have at hand, and that is developers don't really know how much resources the application requires. So in many cases, they'll go to the operations team and ask for uh, an oversized VM or something a lot more than they need uh, just to make sure their application runs smoothly. But since we have some data here based on Prometheus, we can uh, scale that back easily. Uh, okay, so deployment is still running. Um, we're still waiting for it. Almost done here. You can also check Nomad status here in the CLI. So we have Example and Prometheus. Um, so we can go like this. Nomad status example. And here we go. Have all the allocations and running field. And everything is healthy. Okay, so that's great. Let's go back to our dashboard here. And there we go. We're collecting metrics now for CPU. And this one collects me metrics for memory. So perfect. Our setup is uh, complete. OK, well, looks like we forgot to run the DAS autoscaler. So we're not going to get any recommendations. All right, so let's do that. All right, so we're running the Nomad autoscaler now. And uh, that should give us some recommendations. So these should be OK. All right. Going back to our job, our DAS autoscaler here is still running. So we got to wait until this one is, uh, is finally completely up. So one placed, one desired. So we'll wait for that. Okay, so this is up. It's a matter of just waiting for this to find some recommendations for us. OK, 
Okay. And here we go. Now we have some recommendations. So you can see a couple of things here. We got two jobs, example cash LB and example cash. Uh, so two task groups within the, within this. And, and uh, just to explain what we're seeing on the screen here, for this particular uh, job and task, uh, you see you have CPU and memory, so we're taking a look at both. The CPU side, the current CPU is 500 megahertz. The memory is 256 uh, uh, megabytes. The recommendation that came back is to reduce this by 43 uh, percent. By so go down to 287 megahertz and 10 uh, megabytes for the for the memory, right? So in uh, in both cases, we've oversized this allocation so we can reduce it. And uh, if we go look at the other task, uh, the other way around. So you can see we have a current of 50 megahertz for CPU and 10 for uh, memory. The recommendation is to bump that up a little bit to 57. And you can see the mean, the 99th percentile, the max, and so on. So you can see some metrics, detail metrics here. Again, all of this is being pulled directly from uh, Prometheus. So from the graphs that we saw earlier here as, as we were measuring. So uh, we can do a couple of things. We can say accept or dismiss. If you do say accept, what will happen is a new version of this job will get deployed. And uh, for the other one, let's do the same. Let's accept for the Redis task as well. And uh, if we go back to jobs, these should get um, respawned. So if you see here, uh, okay, so we're gonna regenerate those. Okay, and while that happens, let's go back and uh, add some load to the application. So we're gonna generate some load here. Let's go ahead and implement this. So run this to generate some load. It's a batch job here. <clears throat> and the idea is that now, uh, once this comes back up, you'll see that the recommendation now is going to increase uh, because, or it's gonna require us to increase the resources because we're adding load. So let's make sure our batch job is, is up. Okay, still starting. Let's check up on an example now. Is it finally completely up? Hey, yep, so it's fully deployed. That's excellent. And we're just waiting on our load test to, uh, to come up completely. And it's also running, so that's perfect. Let's see if our, it already picked up. Oh, so we have optimization recommendations here, perfect. Let's take a look at them one by one. As expected, the load now has increased and uh, you know, from the current 287 megahertz, we need to bump that up to 459. So we can accept that. And notice here, applying the selected recommendations will add an aggregated 516 megahertz of CPU across three allocations. So it does all the math for us. Very good, let's accept it. Um, and then the final one here, is uh, 57 megahertz for the cache LB to go up to 1,035. Uh, we can definitely accept that as well. And that's it, no more recommendations. So hopefully this video has been helpful to uh, demo the new enterprise feature that comes with HashiCorp Nomad called DAS or Dynamic Application Sizing to uh, help developers in knowing how to size their applications. It, once again, it ties into an APM tool, application performance management tool, such as Prometheus, uh, and uh, more plugins will be added in the future. So it looks at the kind of a benchmark uh, in the past, looking at past historical data, and based on that data, it will give recommendations for proper sizing. So hopefully this has been helpful, and thank you for watching.